guys, Cindy Supposedly Chic, and welcome to my first episode of my keto vlog journey. This is new for me because normally I'm showing you products, different kind of fashion, crafting things. This goes sort of it, sort of into the cooking thing, but really quite honestly more into the wellness piece. What we're going to do today is, is probably the biggest challenge for anybody who's doing keto, and that is what I like to call the carb clean out or the carb purge. I am one week into my keto journey. I am down seven pounds, so I'm kind of excited, and I sort of am now realizing that, that, that this is a really good healthy lifestyle for me for a bunch of reasons. As our, my vlog sort of goes on, I'm going to talk about some of the challenges that, that I've had on the, on the keto and, and where I think there are, are uh, gosh, what do you want to call it, uh, achievements and rejoices. For me, I was not so much um, stuck on the whole bread thing because I sort of gave up bread, rice, and pasta about a year and a half or two years ago. So that for me was was good. I, I didn't have that much of a carb load that I had to sort of overcome. But as we start pulling stuff out of here, you will see that for me, sweets and salty, so potato chips, crackers, cookies, that's my downfall. There are some difficulties. I'm actually drinking a Starbucks right now. You can see I've had to modify my sugared coffee habit, which I've done well. This is actually sugar-free vanilla iced coffee and heavy cream. I'll put the recipe down below. It's actually really tasty. And it took me a couple days, I guess, to get off the sugar, but I think I've done that now. I keep looking at recipe books. I keep watching YouTube. And, and that's just so you guys know, a little side note. That's why I decided to do, this, to do this vlog, because I was lost when it came to keto. You know, there was like four or five, six, ten different ideas of how you're supposed to do it, how you're supposed to start it. So I spent literally, I'm not going to lie, 10 hours maybe over the last three weeks just, just learning about keto on YouTube. But I didn't really find anybody who was just started out or could talk honestly about um, what they're going through. You know, all these guys are like weightlifters and like they've been doing it for years and, and they've, they've got it all dialed in. You know, um, I've also gone some of the forums where, you know, someone's like, hey, what can I do in place of my, you know, coffee that I normally have with sugar? And instead of giving them some kind of uh, feedback, they were like, just drink water, just drink water. Okay, dude, rock on. If you can just drink water your entire life, good for you. We all are in a place where we want to eat healthier and be healthier for some reason, for some eating pattern that is obviously not ideal. So don't slam us, right? So okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting on a rant. I'm done now. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna pull everything out of this pantry. I am the snacker in the family, not my husband. So all of this that you see in here is all my sort of com compilation, right? So we're gonna pull all that out. And one of the things I want you guys to look at, because I don't think people realize until they, they actually are, are sort of faced with uh, stuff sort of straight on is, I want you to see how much crap I used to eat all the time. Um, and what we're gonna do, you can see I've got a bunch of storage um, containers here. I have been meaning for months now to sort of do some kind of reorganization to the pantry. Over the last week, week and a half, I've realized that it's now a necessity. Um, I'm doing a lot more cooking now than I used to because that's the easiest way for me to control my macros, make sure I'm eating what I'm supposed to be eating. Um, so what's happening is I'm compiling on my kitchen table, on my counters, everything from protein powder to coconut flour to you name it. And I have to have somewhere to put it. Take that away from the fact that I don't need any of this stuff any longer. We are gonna purge it all. We're gonna do the carb cleanup. And what I want to do is sort of show you all of the crap that I'm no longer going to be eating and talk a little bit about like how, what that makes me feel. Cause I, trust me, just look at this pantry and that makes me a little nauseous cause there's so much junk in here that I used to just nosh on all the time. So we're gonna start right now, just sort of taking stuff out of the pantry and then we will talk about how we're gonna load everything back up. All right guys, I think we're just gonna start with the top shelf and we're gonna go down. So I am taking out brownie bites, Cheese bites, those are good, I can keep those. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start piling all the carb stuff here because when we're done, we're gonna just look at it and go, holy cow, Cindy, how much carbs can you eat a day, okay? Next we have the zebra popcorn. Um, this, is, this isn't open because my husband, this is his favorite, and he's not the snacker that I am. So we're gonna find somewhere else to put this, maybe in his office or something. Here, honey, take care of this. I stocked up on Girl Scout cookies. I'm gonna give these away to somebody because my husband won't eat them and there's no way in the world I'm gonna throw those away. Moon cheese, guys, is a great cheese snack while on keto. Um, I bought these at Starbucks a couple times when I was sort of thinking about it. They're really good and they taste like really cheesy Cheez-Its. So 
So guys, out of the pantry, one, two, three, four, six items stain. Everything here is all carbs and they're all purged. Excuse my dust, I've spent the last 20 minutes or so putting everything into containers. You can see what I really like about the OXO uh, Good Grips is that you can see what's in it and it has a pop top and the seal. So no matter whether it takes you a month or six months to go through one of these, that's gonna stay fresh. So I got a bunch of different sizes to do a bunch of different things. Uh, I have a lot of powdered ingredients because I am gonna try, for me, the safest way to maintain my keto macros is to do as much cooking on my own as I can. And I will be honest with you, I don't want to eat chicken and cheese and broccoli every meal. So what I'm going to do is try and integrate some of these uh, baked goods. Um, I'm not really going to do anything with keto bread, because again, I gave up bread a long time ago, so I don't really miss it. But uh, last week we did tacos, and I made the cheese taco shells, which guys, they're really good. I will, on a future episode, talk about those. But what I have done um and what basically again like i said i did hours and hours of research so one of the, my hopes on this vlog is i'm going to share with you guys some tips that i've picked up that may be helpful uh stevia obviously you guys have heard of that stevia is a huge uh natural sweetener that people recommend for keto i have a really hard time with stevia for me it has a very weird aftertaste one of the things i saw um on multiple blogs and youtube videos was that better stevia original is the best flavored stevia so this is on Amazon, there'll be a link below. So you see it's a really big bottle. What the other tip that I heard was that this actual dropper right here is inconsistent at best. So if it asks, if it, uh, recipe calls out for like four drops, you might get like three, you might get like 10. So they all recommended just buy a little uh, dropper bottle. So I did that, just got these today, but I will be putting this into here. In addition, I have two powdered stevias. Uh, I have both the granulated and I have the confectioners. I bought the Swerve, which I do like the taste better, but I didn't know any better than I bought the Confectioners, which is very fine. It's almost like powdered sugar. For recipes that call out for Swerve, they, they all kind of recommend the granulated. Keto Connect is one of the uh, sites that I spend a lot of time with. I, I think they have such great, valuable information and I love the way they present it. And they talk about Anthony's brand a lot. So I got actually a couple things from Anthony's and again, from Amazon, I got the, uh, I think guys, I have no idea how to pronounce this. Urethitol, I think is how they say it. I got the granulated urethitol, which is what Swerve is. And I also got xanthan gum because this is an ingredient that I see in a lot of baking recipes. And part of my vlog is I'm gonna like sort of practice on stuff, try, like this week I'm gonna try chocolate mousse. Uh, obviously some fat bombs. Um, if you guys don't know what fat bombs are, we're gonna talk about that in another vlog. But fat bombs, um, a lot of them use these two. So I got both of these. The other thing that I got a lot of honestly was protein powders. Protein powders are added often to a recipe to provide sweetness and a little bit of a protein boost. They're also great to have around if you're in a hurry, you can just throw a couple scoops into a shaker bottle and throw some ice in and whatever, whether you want to go water or almond milk and you can head out. So based on some of the recipes that I'm looking to try and some of the, the uh, recommendations I saw, I actually got three different kinds of protein. I got the keto protein from Kiss My Keto in chocolate. I got the uh, Isopure uh, Zero Carb Protein in Cookies and Cream. And then I got the Unflavored Egg White Protein from Paleo Protein. And this one's gonna be the one that goes into a lot of recipes because it doesn't have any flavor, so it doesn't overpower. So that probably covers, oh, yeah, it covers most of what my, uh, my powder stuff is I have in here. So this shelf is my drinks. This little uh, tray right here has my Bulletproof Coffee set up, which I have every morning, and it's really, really good. Um, I mentioned that uh, I was really a sugar, French vanilla kind of a girl. The combination of these two, I have the ground coffee and I have the brain octane oil. The combination of these with the Kerrygold butter, it's hard to explain, but the creaminess makes it sweet, if that makes any sense. So it'll be easy for me in the mornings to pull this out, make my coffee, and put it back. Other trays, tubs, crates is snacks because I obviously you saw I'm a snacker. These are all things that'll be easy to sort of take out. The cheese bites, the moon cheese. Um, I got the flaxseed crackers guys. Drew's still out on that one. 
just got the keto bark today and let me just tell you it's phenomenal i have no idea how it has like one gram of carbs but this is going to replace my sort of dark sea salt chocolate that i used to nosh on and then keto connect can't talk enough about this dried chorizo i will let you know what i think of it i haven't even opened it yet so this is again going to be where all my snacks kind of easy to go to are and then this last crate is all of the stuff that I'm gonna use for baking. Okay, so I have my Lily's uh, Stevia flavored chips. I have my little mini uh, cupcake wrappers. I have unflavored cocoa powder, and then I have bittersweet baker's chocolate. So I'm looking to do a lot of stuff. Chocolate is sort of one of my favorite things. I love chocolate brownies, I love chocolate ice cream. So I'm gonna play around with a lot of the recipes that we see online, and I will let you know what works and what doesn't, but this is sort of my take it out and start baking tray. I have to say, I feel so much better now that my pantry is organized. I know where all my ingredients are. They're off my counters. And I am fully capable of tackling any keto recipe that I come across this week. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me on my first episode of my Keto Journey vlog. Uh, we're going to do this every week. I'm going to try recipes. I'm going to let you know when they're crash and burn. Let you know when they're good. And share all the tips that I come across on my journey. If you haven't already and you would like to follow this journey, please uh, like and subscribe now. And if you're new to Supposedly Chic, over here is a couple of videos that will uh, sort of get you started on what we're doing and what we're about. And guys, until next time, this is Cindy at Supposedly Chic and Keto On.